Have you heard of Photoshop 2021 yet? I haven't, but I got a link today from Ms. Ling Yisos. It's a beta test. It's in Chinese, which it's okay because it, it's doing stuff in Photoshop, which I understand. I haven't seen the video yet. So let's find out what Photoshop 2021 is all about, okay? Let's go. Let's see what this Photoshop 2021 beta is all about. All right, let's play this. Oh, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. This is a long video. Oh, wait, hold on, let me go back. <laughs> it looks different, those animated. Uh, PS7 Pi? What is PS7 Pi? Oh, 2021, that was smart. <laughs> uh, oh wow, they have new menus from Explore. Okay, we move background, blur background. Okay, so it's not like a new function. Oh wow, but <laughs> one click. Okay, did an okay job. So this is all new to this upcoming 20, uh, it's not an okay job, it's actually not that good. Okay, you could go back and fix it. Just like any other old ones with the ma quick mask. Yeah, see, it's just a quick mask, you remove that and blur it. Okay, uh, you could do that with the current tools right now. There's nothing really new about that. I'm gonna skip all this. Okay, from what I see here is the word, I don't get scared, but the Chinese says sky replacement, which is, kind of like you know the other software Skynum, Luminar 4 they have that so I guess now Photoshop is introducing now late in the game but let's see how it does oh did it just change this guy yeah it did okay uh okay some suspect Pretty sure you could introduce, yeah, you see the little folder down there? I think you could actually introduce new um, skies if they wanted to. Okay, sunset. All right. But we need more than that because for Numenor 4, it actually have to relay scenes that actually apply um, the update new skies, exposure and color balance onto the foreground, which is kind of matching the new skies. Let's see if they can do this. All right, I'm just looking at the menu right now. It's like edgy and blur movement, so it's somewhat similar to what Numenor 4 has. Okay, you can control the exposure as well, as well as the white balance. Well, to, oh, the size too, so that's the size. Interesting. So you can make the sky bigger, smaller. Uh, okay, what else can I do? Okay, it has blending mode. This is kind of weird. This is definitely beta. You can see how <laughs> the, the menu has some Chinese and has some English in it. It's not even legit. So I think it's a long way to go. So I'm not going to, you know, critique it too much because it's still under like very beginning beta. I can tell that even the menu is not set up yet. Oh, wait, hold on. Wow. So after that is done. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Yes, it does. So it does generate a whole bunch of layer separately on the side for you. Okay, now that's a plus. Because um, when I was working in Luminar 4, one thing I can do is if I want to, you know, do more adjustment, fine tune, I couldn't. This is AI filters. Okay, what does AI filter do? Oh, portraitures. Hold on, you could actually do emotions now. Happy. It takes some time to know. I guess it's reading and analyzing all the facials, eyes, nose, and mouth. I mean mouth, not mouse, mouth. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh wow. Wait, hold on. Okay, this is kind of weird. So smile, but it don't have tooth. It generates tooth. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I'm happy or scared of that. <laughs> Okay, also the aging is actually just making it smoother and or more texture, so to show age. All right. Whoa, dude, it adds hairs too. 
and this is just moving skins this one here i don't think the professional would use this but i mean it would definitely make everybody's life easier because you know it's one click so, um not everyone need a professional scene of with touch uh so you know <laughs> that might work what i'm looking at here i wish they have i wish i could find an english version but i couldn't Oh, it's recoloring. What? No, one click? Really? Did he just really do one click? Hold on. And let's see that again. Okay, recoloring. Oh, damn. Yes. <laughs> Actually, really good. I don't know who will use that, but it does like, um, it, it brings something. It's different than just like normal color photo. So that's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, we could even do more. By in, oh, what did it do? Enhancing more colors. So after the video, the way I see it, Adobe is introducing more AI. Um, so like I said, Numenor 4 has AI sky replacement. Now it has it. Uh, yeah, and it went one extra step because Photoshop it is a professional tool. So unlike uh, Lumina 4, which is basically just replace this guy for you and flatten the layer and call it done. Um, Photoshop actually wants you to replace this guy. It gives you all the layers that require to replace this guy. And then it add in a lot of AI for uh, portraitures and also recoloring. I mean, the recoloring part, I haven't figured out what to do with it yet, but it's quite interesting. Um, the execution and also the result looks pretty good. Um, the AI smiling emotion that I want to test a bit more. I hope I could get a piece of that software and try it out. But uh, right now I'm holding back for that. But uh, what do you guys think? L let me know what you think in the comments, okay? I want to know. So until next time, this is Jeremy. Bye-bye.